Hello, Mr. Ed here. Today is the 11th of December, 2016. And uh, since we're pretty cold outside, about 40 degrees, this morning I'm um, inside the Woodworks building and uh, we're upstairs in our little kitchen area up here. Um, I thank you, Mark, for letting us use this area to uh, be able to do this little process. And uh, this morning I'm going to actually be decrystallizing honey. We've got a five gallon bucket of honey that, that's gone completely hard crystallized. And so I'm going to go through the process that I use uh, to decrystallize, um, the pro the, uh, decrystallize the honey. Uh, it's a very simple process. You just take a, a big old pot. I only put about that much water in it and uh, turn it on and start um, taking the crystallized honey and putting it into the, the other bucket. The only reason I'm not going to use the bucket the uh, crystallized honey was in is because it has a gate on it and I don't want any water to be able to seep up inside that uh, honey as I'm doing. So I'm going to transfer the crystallized honey into another uh, tub and then take that tub and, and place it, place it um, in the uh, hot water. So I've got a thermometer with me today. I'm going to show you the temperature. Is it, it, the, the honey will never get over about 110, 115 degrees. So it doesn't change the consistency of the honey. It still retains all its natural uh, benefits. And um, the color stays the same. So it's all, it all, nothing's done other than it decrystallizes the honey. And this honey's been in the, um, in the buckets now for probably about eight or nine months. So it's really, it's hard. So I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, grab the camera and I'm going to show you the, the, the honey and how I'm going to scoop it into the bucket. All right, I'll show you the, uh, the honey uh, in the bucket right here. And um, looking at it, it doesn't appear to be all that uh, different. But when you, when you tilt it, you'll be able to see just how hard this is. I mean, it's like solid all the way in there. Oh, that smells so good. That smells so good. And it appears to be um, dark, but it really isn't. This is, is this really is. It's, it's springtime honey. So, I mean, now you can start seeing the gold in it. I guess it's just crystallized that it makes it appear dark, but it's very light-colored honey. So, I'm going to go ahead now and actually use the spoon and uh, spoon it from this bucket into this bucket. Because um, this bucket right here has got a gate on it, on the bottom of it. So I'm going to just go ahead and start doing that right, right now. Well, I may have gotten a little overzealous uh, trying to get that honey out of that bucket. Um, but old Randy over at the 628 Dirt Rooster said I could always use a little extra uh, drama uh, in, in my video. So we're going to just leave that one in there for that same purpose. Thanks for that uh, advice there, Randy. All right, we got all the uh, um, honey out of this the one bucket, this bucket right here, moved over to here. And so from at this point, we're just going to go ahead and... Uh, um, put it in our in our, our pot right there. Um, it's it's a pretty big old pot uh, right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and turn the water on, and uh, turn the fire on underneath the water, and I uh, drop our bucket in it. So that's the first state uh, stage that that I'll do, and uh, get that in there and let it start heating up. All right, let's go ahead and see how our honey's doing. Uh, Put the the uh, honey in the pot at about 11:08, and it's 11:42. Uh, so about 35 minutes um, into this process right now. Uh, water's got a little slow boil to it, and, uh, and our honey is is oh, hey, we got a little steam up action right there. All right, so let's let's um let's go ahead and stir the honey and see how it's coming along. 
Try not to get that steam on there again. And I still can feel there's still there's still clumps, big clumps of the of the honey in there. Sorry I can't show that to you. That's gonna it'll steam up if I do that. But um it's it's coming along. It's it's really starting to decrystallize. I feel some big big chunks still in there. And it definitely is thinning out. All right, I'm gonna grab the uh, thermometer and we're gonna check the temperature. So what's what our water now is doing. Let's see what the water temperature is right now. Water boils at 212. So we're just under 200 degrees. Let's go ahead and uh, check what our honey temperature is. I ran the uh, thermometer underneath the um, cold water to drop that gauge again. So we're gonna, now we're going to stick this into our honey. We're going to check out the temperature of our honey. see the honey temperature has not even reached a hundred degrees. And, um, I stir the, the, the honey up to kind of like um, get that heat to spread around so it doesn't all just stay on the outside. And um, so right now we're right around a hundred degrees and I think by the time it's all said and done it'll be about 115 degrees when it's all finished. Like I said look I mean I'm I'm show you I'm really in the the, the, temp, the, the gauge is inside the honey, right in the center of it. Right at, right there. All right, we're going to go ahead and let it stay on the fire a little longer and check about another half an hour and see where we are. All right, let's see. We're just about an hour and a half into the whole process. And... Uh, Check out, see what the honey is looking like. Oh man, that's really, really good. The, the you still can see crystals in it. We're gonna do go again. We're gonna check the uh, temperature of the water and the honey. I can tell you right now. I'm just gonna turn that heat off now and just let it sit. We're gonna check that temperature anyway turned off the uh, the heat on the uh, stove and check our water temperature right over 150 degrees and right, we'll take this out and dry it off dip it into the honey now Let's see the temperature of the honey Honey temperature is 120, about just under 130 degrees, 128 degrees, something like that. So it's it's really really good. I'm just gonna go ahead and let the um, the honey sit in the water now for probably about another two hours, um, and uh, let let all that um, the crystals in there finally um, dissipate. And I'll show you what that looks like in a couple hours. It's actually been a little bit more than a few hours uh, since I checked on the honey. The, um, it's actually the next morning and uh, everything is all done now. Um, it looks very dark, but uh, I've skimmed the, the, the stuff that was up on the top, the little wax and all that stuff. And in fact, that's, um, I put that in the plate right here. And even though this honey looks very dark, this is really the color of the honey 
um, underneath there and you can see it's really a golden color and um, and the temperature said that yesterday it, it reached around 125 degrees um, and I've done I've looked up all kinds of information on you know what what temperature does honey start to lose its its benefits the uh, the stuff that the good stuff that's in it and there's all there's no definitive answer on it um, I, I know that it said that at 140 degrees it starts to caramelize but we don't, we never got that hot and it never stays that hot for very long anyway so the color the color is obvious here it's is still very light and um, all the crystals are, are gone let me show you that It's all reverted back to the nice, beautiful, smooth honey. All right, that's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Keep on watching, and I'll be making more. God bless. Mr. Ed, I'm out of here.